Kicking off a new series here on 7 News called Living Your Best Life. And Rhonda, I know you've been working hard on this one. I have, and I'm really excited about it. The idea came from conversations I've had with friends over the years about situations that have been holding us back. Whether it's a bad breakup, poor health, or stress over finances, it can all take a toll on our lives. So we're going on a journey to improve our mind, body, and soul. We begin with the story of a woman who has dealt with more than most of us can imagine and how she's turned things around to live her best life life. Baggage. The longer you live, the more you have. And for some, like Michelle Trahan, they've been carrying it around since childhood. I had a horrible childhood. My dad beat my mom pretty much every day. He shot my mom. He was, it was bad. <laughs> I saw things no kid should ever have to see. Michelle dealt with anxiety, fear, and even the loss of basic necessities many take for granted. We were poor as dirt. We went weeks without electricity in the summertime. Like, no hot water to take baths. We had one meal a day, there was no food in the pantry. And the pain of her past was threatening her future. You just kind of hold on to that bitterness, even though I tried not to, but it's hard to let go of. And I think I kind of took that out on Eric, and I know I did, I honestly know I did. Michelle says it wasn't just her husband Eric that was being affected. Even as a parent, she felt like she was living a shell of her life. But I can remember looking at videos from when they were young and thinking, God. Michelle says it wasn't until she got a literal sign that she knew something needed to change. I know I was probably just this bitter person. And one day I was like, just, you know, just driving, thinking. And I saw a sign at a church and it said, those who anger you control you. And my, I'm telling you, my life changed right then and there. Determined not to let her past control her, Michelle and Eric went through counseling and joined a church. It didn't take long, she says, for changes to happen. Night and day difference. Night and day difference. Letting go of the anger allowed Michelle to make room for what really makes her happy. What has helped me live my best life is helping other people. So she's opened up her family farm, complete with a kangaroo, camel, llamas, and even a zebra, to children who have been through traumas similar to hers. Even if it's for an hour or whatever that they're at my house and they can forget about whatever horrible thing has happened to them, that's the best feeling in the world. None of it would have been possible, she says, without putting her past in the past and making a change within herself. I try not to hold on to the grudges of people in the past. You just kind of, you got to let it go. But as a counselor, Joe Darty explains, that can be a challenge. We only have so much emotional energy to give, right? And if I'm holding on to this stuff, at least partially in my past, then I'm not fully engaged in my present. I need both hands involved in my present and holding on to the present people and the places and the things that I love. While well, letting go of the past is an important first step, Doherty says it can be easier said than done. He recommends talking with friends and loved ones about your anxiety and seek the help of a professional if necessary. Next week, we're going to be talking about the baggage that comes from a lost love, whether it be a divorce or even just a bad breakup. Holding on to that pain and anger can really hold you back. We'll have some steps you can take immediately to let go and start living your best life. And way to go, Michelle. Yes. Huh? What, what uh, an obstacle to overturn. And now, what a great farm out there. Got to go check out that kangaroo. Oh, it's wonderful, yeah. yes.